Welcome back to Houston life. Brr. So cold, so cold. I'm so glad you kept your onesie on. Me too. And you know, LK, I can already feel the excitement burning in my soul. <laughs> so Moody Gardens Iceland is opening in just 15 days. It's such a cool spot, but have you ever wondered what it takes to create Iceland? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have. Our associate producer, Sabiha Mahmood, put together this look of this impressive and icy creation. <laughs> Back in 2014, or at least just a little bit before that, one of our um, leaders here on staff at Moody Gardens attended the annual Harbin Ice Festival, and he was so inspired, he decided, why can't we just try this here in Galveston? So whenever we had this idea to open Iceland, we connected with a group that hires the best of the best and some of the most award-winning master carvers from the Harbin China Annual Ice Festival. His name is Xu Zheng Yu, and he is the chief artist of the team. He is uh, in charge of the design of the Iceland, and also uh, manages the, uh, the, the team. We have a team of total 32, but the members have different roles. So some people do the carving of sculptures, some people building the structures. Eighty percent of them, they, they work together in China for multiple projects already. Many of them like come back Moody Garden every year. Yeah, we understand each other, we work together, we help each other. The process starts as soon as Iceland is over this year. They design it in China. They scale it out and we look at it like on engineer drawings, just like you would build a house. We order all the ice from our partners in Bryan, Texas, and then once they get here, we start carving. The carving takes over just over 45 days and over 1,100 hours to bring such a cold event to such a warm island, but it has turned out to be a beautiful family tradition for so many. Festival is actually known for all of its largest ice sculptures in the world. The difference between the Harbin ice slow wall is, is outdoor, it's huge. And the structures can go up to nine, uh, 100 feet, but there's no way we can do 100 feet in the indoor environment. There are 10,000 people walking on it, so they may only be responsible for one certain area. It's smaller than here. Here we have to in charge of the whole project. Oh, and also we have more color eyes here. We don't have color eyes in Harvey. Iceland is kept at a really cold nine degrees, but not to worry, we will provide you with a parka um, to walk through the ex exhibit. But I want to remind our guests that when you come to have fun in Iceland, wear some pants, wear some closed toed shoes, it is so cold in here, and it's so much fun, but you definitely want to come dressed for the occasion. Last year, we brought Iceland back after a brief pause from COVID, um, but we didn't have our ice slide. This year, the ice slide is coming back, and it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Each year, there's a the theme. This year is Rainforest Holiday. And if you're a longtime Moody Gardens member, you'll probably remember that we did this in 2017. We also have a really immersive experience. There's a lot of tunnels to walk through, um, entries that are just so unique and different, archways that are look like a Mayan temple, the artwork and the trees and all of the canopies, things that you'll see right in our rainforest that are here. The attention to detail is amazing. So in order to get everyone excited about Iceland coming back this year and the slides, we have loaded up our webcam. It's right on the homepage of our website. You can actually log in anytime during the day. They do take a quick lunch break, but outside of that lunch break and watch the carvers at work on our website at moodygardens.org. It's so fascinating. Did you hear the temperature in there, Derek? Uh, no, remind me. It's a warm nine degrees. Wow. Nine! Well, it's incredible that they can keep it cold 
<laughs> given our uh, Galveston weather. Right, right. And as we just heard, so moodygardens.org is the website to visit for tickets and information. Everything opens November 18th. Okay, okay. And they do have holiday packages that include Iceland, Festival of Lights, Ooh. all kinds of attractions okay. down there. You can build out a full day, uh, great yeah. date night, family night. Also, that webcam is going to be up for the next two weeks. Okay. So you until can see they're those finished. Until they're done. <gasps> so just watching those ice carvers go to work, I check in on it every day yeah. just because I'm curious to see it's how much progress they've made. It's amazing. What a talent, right? It's Incredible. Crazy. Also, by the way, we want to quickly mention that our photographer, Lenny Juarez, visited Iceland for the first time, drumroll please, in, in shorts. shorts. <laughs> oh, Lenny. This is an example of how not to dress because people, it does get <laughs> Really, really cold, cold in yes. there. Nine degrees, <laughs> my right. goodness. Sounds great. All right.